Okay, we're back. And we're going to head into the lair. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, spiny frogs might be a slight problem. But we are faster than them, so... Let's see how stabby we are without having any training. Not, not very. Well, actually that's not too bad. Yeah, let's train some short blades. Just a bit. Really don't need much to be a successful stabber. So yeah, you can use Mythetic Cloud to force them to go through the Conjure Flames. They consider it to be a hostile cloud, and so they're already in a hostile cloud, so they don't care too much about going into another one. Train some um, poison and air magic, but probably not. Okay, as for this guy, um, he can really wreck me. Um, so I'm just gonna get the confuse on. I'll just kill him with dazzle spray without getting next to him. Questionable. By the way, this thing's immune. Doesn't matter. It'll still walk right in. Now, that makes quite a lot of noise, so I should be being a little more careful. Then again, we move so quickly, it's very hard for us to die here.
lot of wolves. Um, I don't think we've seen Grum again yet. But he's definitely here somewhere. Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of the... We saw him way... a long time ago. Never mind. Not sure why I thought Grum was here. I guess just because I saw the wolves. Never mind. False alarm. Although I am curious if we're going to see any other uniques. Um, so far, this has been pretty by the book. Potions of Brilliance, that's good. Be able to cast things early now. careful here they are able to petrify me oh boy well this is quite a crowd um, let's see if we can't maybe clear this out in a more agreeable way fight all that stuff at once um, so we'll split this guy off uh, we can survive one hit so I'm happy uh, I'm happy to confuse stab these guys you'll notice I didn't even bother with ensorcelled hibernation and that's because I mean confuse is a little more obnoxious to use um, but it's uh, got a higher spell power cap so I don't end up using hibernation that much it is still a pretty good spell. Um, it's just that, well, this character, um, I mean, I suppose you can use it in kind of clever ways, like you can You can use it to you can use it to kill um, you can use it well not to kill but you can use it to turn off monsters if you'd sorcerer hibernate in something it's like it's sleeping and then if it doesn't as long as it doesn't hear a noise it won't wake up um, but you could also just confuse something and walk away, and as long as your stealth is high enough, it probably won't see you when you come back, so... Kind of, uh, the same thing, in my opinion. Not quite, but... I guess you could set an exclusion, but in reality, what are you going to be using that on that's susceptible to it? Um, not a whole lot, really. That you wouldn't just want to kill. Okay, Fulminant Prism. Um... Wow, um, yeah. That's a good one. Not so sure about this other stuff. Um, but yeah, Fulminant Prism, I will take that. We've got another damage spell now, one that's very, very good. And one that has a higher spell power cap than Dazzle Spray. Put this on a letter that's a little closer. Um, v. So 
So yeah, we can straight up murder things now. Um, but let's not rely on that because it still costs food. Whereas Dazzle Spray does not. And Confuse does not. Too, but we're doing really well in experience. Already level 12. I like to see that. Let's identify some of this stuff. You'll notice I've turned on um, don't read and don't quaff onto all my potions and scrolls. Uh, because I have this bad habit of fat fingering keys. Um, this will force me to play a little bit more slowly. Hey, Amnesia. I wanted to see that. We might use some fireball action here. Maybe not. Fireballs kind of suck, so that's something to keep in mind. Oh boy. Not a very good spriggan. Burning down the forest. Stop fireballing. What am I doing? Uses up a ton of food. Crocodile. This dude can only do 25 damage to me, so I'm happy to duke it out with him as long as he's in some flames. As 
as long as they're dazzle sprayed, I can get stabs on them, so that's something to keep in mind. Don't have to worry about trying to confuse, although confusing them is a good idea too. Almost got short blades up to 10. We'll probably stop training there, just get it to Mendeley, which is really not that much investment at all. This dude is another story. This guy can do 55, which is almost all of our hit points, and that makes me a little concerned. Um, I kind of just want to, like, fulminant prism. Quite want to work, does it? It's it's slowly working. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Easy enough, right? this. Okay, let's back out a little bit. Um, got surprised by an elephant coming up from behind as well. Um, let's kind of stay back and dazzle spray. We got one. Let's see if we can stab the other. Okay, he's down. Cool. I'm going to turn nothing but short blades on just till it gets to 10 so I can stop training that. First ring of teleportation. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to be using that today. Slayer 3. No good loot yet, but um, in this case the experience is the loot. We have everything we need to finish this game, as long as Sith Muna keeps giving us books, which she will. Hopefully quickly now that I have, um, well I've had faith this whole time. I am not going to try this amulet on. Haven't even bothered to train any invocations. Um, I can't imagine a situation where channel piety or channel um, channel magic would be needed on this character.
Hornets are really bad news on a low hit point race. Or on any race, really. I mean, you get paralyzed on just about anything and you're going to have a rough time. I probably shouldn't be folding still. Uh, folding still costs some hunger. But not for long. Now this is... Wow. That took way longer than it should have to get that guy down. I'm not saying we could have died there. I would have started using potions or something, but it could have been rough. Interesting little polar bear vault. to 9.6 short blades. I don't think there's anything behind here, but yeah, it's just rock walls. It's fine. Headed Hydra. Um, we can kill this dude with Fulminant Prism. Um, but I don't know if I want to make that much noise on a floor that's unexplored, so let's dazzle spray him to death. Plenty of mana to work with. Checking my fire resistance there. Not that we needed it, which we, we don't have any. Um, don't even have a swap on, but we will eventually. Got a book from Sif Muna. Uh, it's Summon Forest. That's really good to see on this character. I suppose I might end up using Malign Gateway after all. I always found it funny that the flying things could go into shafts, or maybe it's just because he was confused. Okay, short blades at 10. I'm going to turn back on spellcasting for a while. I want Fulminant Prism to have no hunger cost, is why I'm doing that. Jeevia altar in the lair. It's not too common. Alright, a staff. Staff of fire. Um, well, that would have been... That would have been interesting uh, if I'd found it earlier. Remember, you can stab blinded things, so I really like Dazzle Spray as a spell uh, because it lets you do a little bit of damage to something to open up, and then once it gets to you, you stab it and it dies. 
and it doesn't rely on beating something's MR, which is hugely important. Scrolls of blinking, always good to see. Little belated comment on that, but hopefully you saw me pick it up. Another Hydra. Um, we're going to take care of this the usual way. 45% is a perfectly reasonable chance to confuse. And we can just Dazzle Spray this dude to death. So if you're playing an Enchanter and you think you can't do damage, um, you can. You just do it a little slower than everybody else. And you don't need to be next to anything. Just use Dazzle Spray. Alright, this one's a little tricky. Um... Catablepus, I mean. So check it out. 15% chance to confuse. We could try to get that, but it's not really going to work that well. Um, instead, we're just going to try to blind him. Hmm. It's not quite working, is it? There we go. Now, he can only do 36 damage, so he can't instant kill me. Wait, I don't want to use Summon Forest. That could send me to the Abyss. Um, so I'm going to use Shroud of Galubria. And I'm going to stab him, or try to. If he does enough damage to take me below 36, I'll just walk away. Okay, there we go. So we got confuses, or we got um, stabs on him without confusing him. You can do the same thing to almost anything. Fulminant Prism here to make this a little bit more straightforward. Area of effect is fun. Never necessary, but fun. And then, of course, remember, especially as a Spriggan, I could just cast Confuse on this thing, and at 15%, I could just kite it around, and it really wouldn't be a problem. Oh boy. Trying to duke it out with things, and I can't. Not even a, not even a porcupine. Spiders, we want to be pretty careful about. Um, I see that there is a. Um, oh. There's a. Quick Blade, which is awesome. Let's kill this thing. Dazzle Spray. Okay, it looks like the Hydra woke up. I'm gonna see how well Fulminant Prism does, especially now that the hunger's gone. We'll take spellcasting to 14 and then we'll turn it off. Fulm does pretty good against Hydras. And really anything. Blade is. Just close. Just a plus four unbranded, that's fine. Eventually we will find brand weapon scroll. 
Oh, we found enchant armor. So now we have a plus two cloak. And I'll enchant up this quick blade. We'll brand it. We'll brand it later once we find the brand weapon scroll, like I said. Okay, uh, spell casting's good. Let's do summoning, translocations, hexes, and stealth. We want to get summon forest out of the yellow for sure. Um, so that we can so that we can actually use it. This thing does not want to die. Nice, got it. So that you can, or you, you feel, you feel a bit more experienced as the line I saw, which means that you killed something off screen. All right, not bad. Let's go to layer six. Probably should consider wearing a buckler at some point, maybe. And there's a robe for sale that I should check out. Anyway, um, for now we've got an ice cave. And we have an ice ring, so we could probably do it. Uh, I'll tell you something. I wish I had a scarf of clown immunity. Because the ice clouds do scare me. because they're afraid of fire. That's fine. Made a bit of noise, but... Hmm. This is going to make some noise. But we do extra damage with this. noise that unfortunately we pulled a good portion of the level. But um, usually not too much stuff will come to the entrance. Ring of Ice. Um, it no longer de-enhances fire as far as I know. Yeah, it doesn't. Let's see if I can dazzle spray these. Yeah, I can. Doesn't really surprise me. They're relatively low-level monsters. Okay, now we're going to go into the real use of Fulminate Prism. Cheesing monsters. Yes, I am able to do this off screen. I promise they're taking damage. Yep, feel a bit more experience. That one's dead. And that one's dead too. Down they both go. Okay, ice dragons. Um, We 
survive one blast. Okay, um, time to walk backwards. If need be, I will leave, but I don't wanna. You missed me? Good. Um, oh, we have forest now. Also use Conjure Flame to stop those ice breaths. Oh, there's the dragon. Okay, he's happy to go through the flames, I see. Let's walk away, make a fire, confuse him. Nice. I don't think he can one-shot me. Wow, uh, that's not quite working. We refresh the confuse. Refresh the confuse again. Refresh it one more time. Oh my god, it's not working. He just doesn't want to get confused. Let's walk away from this and have full magic again. Or doesn't want to get stabbed, I mean to say. It's fine, we'll rely on the forest, even if it's a low power, low spell power crappy forest. I'm just gonna fireball us due to death with our really low power, low spell power fireball because he is susceptible. Got him. Do we want to wear the ice dragon scales? The answer is a resounding no. Hey, Slay plus three, actually not terrible on this character. And the MP plus nine octopus ring, which is also not, not awful. Things are looking up. says that I should keep the RF on at all times, even if the magical power would be more useful in certain situations. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And the slaying will be handy for stabbing anyway, but I will wear the Octopus King. Oh, hey. Actually, a pretty good spell to have. Why don't we? Um, why don't we get it? Now, can we cheese this fulminant prism over here? We really can't. 
And I have a suspicion that they set this vault up on purpose so that you can't. How much can I do? 3, 7, so 21 plus acid is 20. So 40. 41 damage. So they can't one shot me. Which is fine, we'll just do that. You know what? I can just confuse him. Take him out that way. Not that there was anything in there worth getting. Ooh, teleport trap. stab on him. Let's try it again. Got him. Cool. I would like to brand this quick blade, but the blade itself is good enough. What we're really interested in is how quickly it works, um, which makes it easier for us to stab something several times while we're chasing it around and it's confused. Two dire elephants here, and more on the other side. So why don't we... I usually don't do this, but why don't we clear out the ones on the other side first? Fulminate Prism. Finished off here. Got him. As for this dude, um, let's see if we can't use the forest to bring him down some. Okay, we'll just come down a different staircase. I'm going to exclude that off just, just for now. to be using something a little more straightforward, but what are you going to do? Hmm. Um, I guess I could have kept up with my fireball training, but this is, I think this was the optimal path for spells on this character.
Okay. We'll kite this thing again. Easy enough, right? All right, now for the hard one, because we're in water when we start this. Um, why don't we... Well, we only have two potions of flight. I should still be faster. Uh, well, okay, there we go. I used a forest to kind of make a little more room between me and them. It's easier to kite them. Nice. Should be one more, and there he is. Nice, got him. Hey, another quick blade. It's only plus two and no brand, just like the one I already have, so let's just keep enchanting up this guy. Hmm, holy word. Sad to waste that. Uh, could have been brand, could have been acquirement. I don't think we found any acquirements yet. can actually check um, if I can remember the key to do it. Yeah, it's backslash and then um, dash. So yeah, summoning brand weapon, silence acquirement, and torment. Okay, well that's lair. Didn't really find um, a whole lot. I mean, no, we found the quick blade in here, I believe. Uh, and we found these two rings. So no, we did we did find a lot. This was um this was a pretty lucrative lucrative layer. And we're all the way up to level 14. Which is pretty good. Um, sometimes I walk out of here and I'm level 15 I think actually so maybe we're a little behind. I'm not sure. But we're doing fine in my opinion. Um, we're doing really well on spells. Um, what we're going to do, um, is we're going to do orc next time. So we'll just position the character right here, because we haven't actually found orc yet. It's anywhere from D9 to D12. We've popped into D11, but we haven't actually explored it, um, and we haven't even been on d12 yet so it's down there somewhere um, what we'll do is we'll put on pro magic probably in the place of the np plus nine um, generally we have enough pro magic on a spriggan just by virtue of being a spriggan but um, we're going into orc where we could get paralyzed and so i want to have rf and i i want to have i want to have mr Bolt of Draining is the only thing that really, really scares me in here now, uh, and the occasional Stone Giant if those show up. The Bolt of Draining can take most of my hit points, but unfortunately nothing with our Neg has spawned, so I'm going to have to just 
deal with it. Now, as long as I can get past the fact that it does a, it makes a ton of noise, um, Fulminant Prism is really good in Orc because it just kills things. Um, we have Summon Forest, we have Summon Mana Viper. I think we're going to do okay overall in there. And uh, maybe, maybe Seth Moon will give me Discord soon. Fingers crossed. Until then, I am signing out.